what I think we would likely to do is to reassemble the, uh, the team that was so successful in Suriname. And uh, this is not a moment, you know, to discuss those details, uh, but they will be released in due course. That was former Secretary General of the Commonwealth Secretariat, Sir Shridat Ramphal, giving his view on uh, the next step Guyana should take to have the border controversy between itself and neighboring Venezuela resolved. The international Guyanese diplomat, who also happens to be Guyana's top legal advisor in the Guyana-Venezuela border controversy, told the media today that finding the legal fees to pay a team to represent Guyana is miniature. If you go to court, there must be some legal expenses. But the, what is at stake for Guyana is everything. Uh, so legal expenses are minuscule in relation to what is at stake. Sir Shredit Ramphill claims that too much speculation has been peddled by people without the requisite knowledge about these matters, and as such, Guyana must guard itself against being fooled. Unfortunately, some pretty wild things have been said in Guyana, uh, which are far from legally accurate. And the, the, this, is, this is totally different from the advisory positions that are possible under the Charter. This is not an advisory opinion. The Guyanese legal advisor added that the ICJ would hear that case on the United Nations Charter and the Geneva Agreement of 1966 that had provided for, among other means, mediation and judicial settlement. Sir Shridat Ramphal claims that the process to have a final settlement to this issue could take years, which to a large extent has a lot to do with how Venezuela responds to the matter. The Spanish-speaking country has already rejected the decision by the United Nations to have uh, the border controversy settled by the International Court of Justice. The Ghana government had said it plans to use a sign-in bonus of U.S. $18 million received from ExxonMobil to stand the expense of a legal team. The money was, however, kept a secret in a bank account at the central bank. This information was exposed by two private media companies, including this newscast. For the Evening News, Michael Young reporting.